waiting for our next speaker, uh, who is Kajsa Hedström. <laughs> uh, she's product manager at the Swedish Film Institute, a curator of filmarkivet.se, and in the editorial committee for digitization. And she's going to talk about iMedia Cities, European City Films. Welcome. inviting me to present the project iMedia Cities and that will be launched later this spring. Uh, iMedia Cities is, um, is a European founded project in the frame of Horizon 2020, uh, a Europeana initiative. In Europe the Commission played a crucial part by supporting several valorization projects within the framework of Europeana. Uh, a catalogue of heritage collection accessible online, whose objective is... Oj då, förlåt. Okej. Så, gör vi så. Okej. Um, so, whose objective is to make it possible for citizens throughout Europe to access and use it for leisure, studies or work. It will give Europe's diverse and multilingual heritage a clear profile on the internet and the digitization uh, of their assets will help Europe's cultural institution to continue carrying out so, okay. Hope that it will Carrying out their mission to giving access to and preserving our heritage in the digital environment. The iMedia Cities project, whose objective is to share access to and valorize audiovisual content from the collection for research purposes falls uh, fully within the policy developed by the Commission in its wish to democratize uh, access to Europe's cultural heritage. The pro project is based on the collections of nine film libraries, institutions responsible for the conservation of the cinematic heritage. They are mostly films uh, conceived to be screened in cinemas, uh, but there are also some made outside the commercial sphere as amateur films. Uh, they are works that reflect the wealth and the diversity of film production from, a both, from both a cultural genre and subject and a technological point of view with different system formats and emulsions. iMedia Cities is focused on research and innovation. And the project gathers nine cities, which you see here, from eight countries. Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Italy, Spain, and Greece. Um, the proje project intends to offer not only access to European audiovisual heritage, but also provide tools for new approaches and research on the audiovisual content. The platform will be accessible to all publics, but tools and functionalities um, are also developed for specific audiences as archives, uh, schools, universities, film, film industry and researchers. Uh, the partners of the project are nine European film archives, six research institutions, two technological providers, and one specialist in business model. Uh, in them, they are in charge of the sustainability of the project. Some of the film archives are working in duet with research, research institution, as in Sweden, where the Swedish Film Institute is associated with Stockholm University. The application from iMedia Cities was initiated and done by Cinémathèque Royale de Belgique in Brussels. It was a three years project that started April the 1st, uh, 2016 and ended uh, March th uh, 31st, 2019. 
well, not ended since it's not released yet, but the, the funding from the Commission ended. And we will have our final review in the end of May in Brussels. But iMedia City will continue on a voluntary basis, and all nine archives uh, will join and two of the research partners. Uh, the project will be financed uh, by the collaborator partners. We have committed us for another three years, and then we will evaluate it. During these three years, other archives in other cities uh, are welcome to apply to be a part of the project because we have realized and we think and the reactions we heard that <clears throat> more cities would be much more useful and at attractive for the platform and for the functions. So if any of the archives in Gothenburg uh, you are here, of course, others as well, uh, to, to, to join us. And maybe that could be a perfect thing for the 400 years jubilation, uh, <laughs> celebration in uh, 2021. And of course, the launch of the platform was planned for April the 1st. But as always, um, some technical s bugs were not fixed and still are still not. So. Um, it will be released soon, but it's not public yet. Um, the central theme of the project is city films. The first city films were produced in Sweden uh, around 1907, with the aim to attract spectators to the local cinema. The films featured the city site and capture images of places with movement, such as streets, square and waterways. The genre survived the transition to sound films around, around 1930 and lasted up to the 1970s. It was a mix of film, mainly commissioned film, but also art films. But since this is a research project, it was important to decide some lines of, the, of research in order to create coherent analysis tools. By comparing the different collection and asking the researchers their main, interest, main research interest, six main research themes emerge. Urban development, architecture, cinema film history, tourism, war and conflicts, and politics. And the lines with the pattern here um, are the research lines for our research partner in Stockholm. And all these themes were very important for the final selection in, uh, in films. And in Sweden, we, the Stockholm University, they added gender studies, social housing, and culture and society. Um, at the end, uh, the result is more than 1,000 city films and almost 9,000 photographs of cities that will be available on the portal with the selection made, films dating from 1896 to 1992 uh, will represent almost 100 years of cinema. But to make, available, uh, to, to make uh, film heritage available online is not new, and the main part of the titles are already available online uh, when the archives have their own proper portal, like Film Archivet, which is uh, a portal that is a collaboration between the Swedish Film Institute and the National Library in Sweden. Uh, so, um, what, make this, what makes this project innovative is rather the combination of several functionalities, annotation, automatic detection, geotagging, film segmentation, interactivity, but also research content since the films are geotagged and annotated by archivists and researchers, therefore can be contextualized and some references can be provided together with the films and the photographs. Therefore, the project doesn't uh, only allow to access film heritage as on filmarchivet.se, it also gives the keys to better apprehend the films and their cultural context. I will show you some examples. This is the portal when you, 
you have logged in, there are several options of research. Uh, by country type, that will say films or photographs, by terms, by city, by production date, or by legal status, that is public domain or copyright films. Um, in the case for the films provided from the Swedish Film Institute, there will be no legal status. Uh, <clears throat> the, the field will encourage the user to contact this, the Swedish Film Institute. Uh, on the left, there is the controlled uh, vocabulary. It means a thesis of concepts and terms uh, elaborated by the research partners according to the research themes. Uh, they are organized in, by main categories and subcategories. So let, let's look at the term camera, for instance. We will have 18 films uh, as a result, and we will choose the one from uh, the archive at Swedish Film Institute, Mary and Dog Besökers Stockholm. That was when Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks went, visited Stockholm. Um, all the words tagged to the film, you will see it there uh, in the bottom. Um, and in this case, the, 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 the word camera was, was uh, uh, annotated by, by the researcher, but there was also automatic annotation uh, detected by a program. Then the concepts um, detected by the automatic annotation tool are added in the annotations and searchable as any other annotation. Uh, and also, a parenthesis to describe the viewing function, functions which allow different speeds uh, and ways of viewing, frame by frame, for instance, and also the possibility of creating segments out of the film that can be saved on a personal space. But here at the annotation, as pointed by the... Uh, you I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> the color of the frames indicates the level of accuracy and the detection of concept. When it's green, the detection is very accurate. Um, in yellow, in some doubts, and in red, with serious doubts. Um, so, back to annotation. As pointed out by the authors Frunas, Landauer, Gomez and Dumas on their study on vocabulary problem made already in 1986, if everyone, if everyone always agreed on what to call things, the user's word would be design, the designer's word would be the system's word, and what the user typed or pointed to would be mutually understood. Unfortunately, people often disagree on the words they use for things. So even if the vocabulary is established by the researchers, that is to say, designer's word, and the vocabulary added by automatic annotation, the system's word, may not correspond to the user's word. We can show an example. Uh, comparing the iMedia Cities platform with the IMCDB, Internet Movie Car Database. Uh, where I could find one of the films of the project, Bil på öppen gata. And all the cars appearing in the film has been, been identified uh, by the users of uh, IMCDB. And if we, compare, if, we, if we compare the vocabulary used um, uh, on iMedia Cities and the IMCDB, we can see that controlled con vocab vocabulary generated by the iMedia Cities is somehow insufficient for the, the car uh, website users. And we can imagine that that is the aspect could be valid for many other contents, such as monuments, clothes, furniture, and of course, at least here in Gothenburg, boots. Mm. Another entry to the collection is uh, via geotagging. The geotagging is made uh, by shot, and all the concepts that appear in the shot will be geotagged. Nevertheless, 
to geotag archi archival film can be a complex matter. For instance, this, uh, this still from Endoy Stockholm is taking place in the parliament. As you might recognize, uh, this is not the parliament, it's the cult it's Kulturhuset. Since between 1971 and 1983, the parliament was, in, was under reconstruction for an extension and the parliament settled down at Kulturhuset. Therefore, it's not possible to, to tag the building in this case, only to tag the, the place, um, Sargus story. Of course, a map of the city of the moment of the production of the film would have allowed to geotag and respecting the map of the period. Um, this is a sequence from the same film uh, from a shot at the legendary Café Shoget. Uh, the current geotagging leads us to a repair shop for cell phones. But in the case of Café Shoget, it was a legendary institution, being one of the most popular pubs or hangouts uh, in the city since the 40s. It's obvious for Stockholmer, at least older Stockholmer, uh, Stockholmers, uh, but not users from other cities or from other countries. Uh, for instance, it's possible to add bibliographical reference to some shots, in this case, the scenes shot in the, in the cafe, and to add cultural background to give the tools for you to, to, to better understand places, because they are not only a point on a map, they are a social, historical, and cultural significance. I will end this presentation with the fact that it's naturally possible to combine several research factors, look for a specific concept, in this case, a filmic attribute, for a period of time on a map. But to, to conclude, the project ins insisted a lot on the automatic tools, but in our opinion, the possibility of annotating, commenting, geotagging the shots, especially by archivists, archivists, researchers, or users with knowledge, enrich notably the comprehension and provide an important cultural background, especially because cities are organic structure that evolve and change together with the people who inhabit them. To narrow the temporal and spatial distance between the subjects and the viewers is probably one of the fundamental aspects of this project maybe even more than the technolo technological uh, innovation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we do have time for questions. So open up the floor for questions. Yes. We have one question here in the middle. English or Swedish? Du, du, uh, jag, kanske, <laughs> jag kanske missade det i, i ditt anförande, men sa du när det skulle öppna? Alltså grejen är att det skulle, ju, det skulle ju vara vilken dag som helst. Jag skickade ett mejl igår och frågade om när har vi ett datum. Men vi fick de sista buggarna som skulle vara korrigerade på långfredagen. Så att jag... Ja, ja. Men alltså, så det, det, du vet att det alltid är så. Det, det skjuts fram. Men förhoppningsvis innan sommaren. Would there be different entries for the public and for the researchers? Yes. Uh, so would you, but, and would you say that this is a crowdsourcing project in that sense? That you gather, you know, information from, from amateur users and amateur yeah. viewers? Yeah, but there would be lim limits what a uh, uh, normal public could add and what the researchers okay. could add. They have more tools. Mm -hmm. And that is um, from the university IP that we can, you know, separate. The, the, the students and um, the researchers for the, or the public. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Så då har vi kaffen lite längre, kaffen planerat och träffas åter här eh, eh, 
Nu har jag fick inte glasögonen på mig. Vi ska ses igen 15.40, 24.